Hello mate, welcome back. This video is just going to be very quick, just doing another demonstration of some post work really. So I'm just going to jump straight in. What I've got here is a render that I've created and I just want to make this look a little bit more atmospheric. It's fairly dull at the moment. It's not a bad render but it just needs a little bit of, little bit of polish really. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to control J this layer. I'm going to go into my select tool, I'm going to select mask and I'm going to select a subject and then hopefully Photoshop will do a nice job of isolating this character so if we now hit OK it did exactly that. Now what I can do is under this layer I can create another one using my paintbrush and I'm just going to go for, actually I'm not going to use the paintbrush, I'm going to use the polygon selection tool and I'm going to throw out this selection like that. Now using my brush tool now, I can just make sure I've got the correct color selected. Just going, to, you know what, I'm not going to do that either. I'm just going to bring this down. I'm going to go kind of there. And I'm going to go kind of there. And then I'm going to just come up here with couple of slightly thick streaks like that. Then I'm going to unselect that area. And then this layer I'm just going to go filter and blur. Gaussian blur. And I'm just going to keep going until I get more or less the effect I'm after. That's probably not quite. There we go. I want a little bit of definition in there because this isn't going to be that visible. It's going to be more like that and I bring the opacity down a smidge there we go now what I want to do is with this layer I'm going to go to filter noise despeckle just get rid of any noise in this the, the odds of anyone being close enough to this image to see the noise is very slim but it's still worth just just doing that now we've obviously add, uh, added a light source to this side of the screen so now on top of this layer what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the brush tool again. I'm just going to come across here and I'm just going to drag something down like that and then I'm not even going to bother changing the blend mode of this one I'm just going to very slightly lighten that edge of the, sh of the shot. And then I'm going to create another layer over the top of that and I'm just going to go one big light across that whole thing. Thank you. Bring that down until I'm happy with the overall look. Looking good so far. And this really does, because I haven't removed the noise from the underlying image, you can see that it creates kind of a, I don't know if you can see it or not on the recording, but it creates like a kind of a dusty atmosphere effect because there's noise, slight noise in the background image. And because there's light coming in through that corner, I'm going to do my trademark rainbow effect. I'm just going to, perhaps if you actually select the color. Red. And green. And blue. And we're just going to change that again to soft light. And drop the opacity way, way, way down until it's barely visible. a little bit too low let's come up to about 11 yeah, percent works for me that's good now we're looking for any abnormalities on the actual character now that we've got the effects in place so i'm just going to come in a little bit tighter there is a bit of bouquet the bouquet around this area so we can't go too mad but it's always bugged me how this particular item of clothing always clings to the cleavage or the under bust side area so i'm going to see if i'm going to create another layer above this one and i'm going to use the uh, let's have a think patch tool let's have a look at the patch tool and i'm going to just draw around this area here and i'm going to see use pattern we don't want to use a pattern Check that it's content aware, sample all layers, and then 
yeah, what I might have to do actually is control, yeah, sorry, I'm going to undo that selection. Sorry, it's been a while since I've used this tool. I'm going to copy that across. Now we're going to use the patch tool. We're in content aware. Have a looky. Let's see what happens if we do that. Mm -hmm. That's going to look a bit weird. Yeah, do you know what? It's fine. I can live with it. I could, I could use the... I could dim the shadows, actually. Let's try that. It's not the perfect... Not perfect way of doing it. But if you use a curved layer, you bring up the shadows like that, invert the layer mask, and then paint it in again using the brush tool, you might be able to remove the shadows in such a way that it just minimizes that effect slightly. see there's still a little bit of shadowing there and you can see the textures are sort of rucked up a bit but maybe if I blur that mask a little bit just so that it blends a little bit better let's see how that looks nah you can still kind of see it's there it's probably just safer just to leave it there for the sake of this Maybe I'll just have to create a morph that will remove that from the item inside. There's other ways I can do this. I could use um, a... Yeah, that's better. Right. Remove the curves there. Cool. But, you know, I could, um, could go with the spot healing brush tool and just try and paint it out. It, it, it will work. Um, but if anyone were to inspect this image closely, you'd be able to see in an instant that that's what they did because the textures would be kind of screwy, but you know, it can be done. It just looks a bit rough, you know. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really happy with that, but you, you could try that if you wanted to. But really, as far as I'm concerned, that image is done. So, um, thanks ever so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and all that jazz. I uh, hope you found it useful. Let me know anything in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. But until then, you take damn good care of yourselves. All right, guys. Bye-bye.